got to be YouTube friendly. Oh, man, yikes. Um, let me... <laughs> There's some of Brett... Breaking overnight, some... a knife fight between neighbors leaves a man dead and a woman hospitalized in the Bronx. The vicious crime happening in the Highbridge section, and right now police say they have the suspect in custody. PIX 11's Anthony DiLorenzo is live at the scene, and he's been following all of the updates on this and what police are saying sparked this deadly fight. Anthony. Guys, within the last hour, we've been speaking with neighbors, those who knew the victim, and even the woman where this deadly fight happened inside of her apartment. Uh, we are told that this all was sparked over uh, people hanging out. Apparently, they are making too much noise for the neighbor, and he barged into this apartment on the third floor of this building here on University Avenue and then started stabbing people. A 39-year-old woman is hospitalized this morning, and a 45-year-old, her friend, is now dead. He has been identified by police as Tyrone Quick. He is 45. Tyrone Quick. Man, Tyrone, you wasn't quick enough, and you did <clears throat> now, man. Five years old and lived just right <laughs> around the block. He was here visiting friends last, not last night. The suspect, according to... He was to just visited, man. Damn, imagine you visited, and this, you visited on the day where the fucking crazy dude comes over and stabs him. Last, not last night. The suspect, according to police, is Jose Ortiz, who lived right next door. Oh, so Umbrito, is this y'all black and brown coalition, man? This is how it working nowadays? Jose Ortiz, man, he had he had justification. He had to get his sleep, you know. I, who who won this battle? Like, the the hombres or the Sunday? The hombres though is the killer, and the sun man is the victim. Oh, there you oh, go. Noise, Put us on the board. Now, let me tell you this: I lived in an apartment before I lived here, um, and some people they just, I mean, zero regard. I mean, like, I, it, it's not even. No, it's not even inconsiderate. Because inconsiderate they don't know any means that you're you 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 inconsiderate means you're like, thought. It means you're thought. Yeah, like they yeah. Don't, even, don't even think about it. Right. Hey, but but I, you know, we work. You know, we we work a lot. Yeah, y'all work, and y'all need to wake up in the morning. And yep. yeah, I, I I wanted to kill my neighbors when I lived in my last apartment. I no, I did. I listen, man. I'm a yeah. son, man. I thought I didn't. I wasn't like sitting there loading a gun or sharper than the knife ready to go over there but i was like man i wanted to kill them I so i wanted to kill them so uh, that's that's another point that you've um awakened me and developed my growth so thank you when did you um come to that realization that you know it's not a thing of disrespect it's just when it comes to blackistan it's just that they just don't get it because, and I say that because I actually had to, I didn't have to, but I moved, I brand new home built from scratch and I moved five years earlier than I had anticipated simply because um, it was in a uh, sunny Blackistan um, development and to the right of me, to the left of me were, you know, uh, some people, and they just didn't understand that, I mean, the things that they were doing was the loud music, children all on your property. Um, yeah. So when did you, when did you... When did I, 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 yeah. I, I, I would say that it's, it's, it is still situational, because remember, black people are very disrespectful. So like, so a lot of times they are trying to disrespect you, but there are certain things where um, I think it's just a nuanced thing, man. I just got a feel for it. I can just tell, like, when, like, they just don't know no better. And then sometimes they are trying to disrespect you. Like, I mean, if you're fucking with your lady and the sudden man comes, slaps her on the ass, like, he that's the, he knows better than to do that. But if you're with your fucking grandmother and two sudden men are talking about their orgy last night at, like, octave level 20 and they're sitting two feet away from you and your grandmother... They might not know any better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but when when you <laughs> when you made that point about you know you know it's so and a lot of times just Blackistan just un, doesn't understand um, yeah, that they, they are they, being disrespectful. 
yeah, they just it's just their normal yeah it's a new that one. that that really yeah. that 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 really um hit home for me so thank yeah, you and it, and and it, and it, and it help you like not not be, hold so much bitterness because yes black people are very disrespectful so it's like you do have a you do have you know bitterness for them against them and sometimes you got to understand like they just don't don't stop. know any better yeah. So you just have to get the f out you of there, like I did. You didn't cross them, like when they, when they were making noise, when they were playing like fucking um, Chief Keith at fucking one in the morning on a and on, on a, a Sunday on yeah, a weekday. Right. right. It, it had nothing to do with you. Got you. You know what I'm saying? It had nothing to do with you. It and was you, just, it, <laughs> just it was just them being there. them 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 yeah man and bro because that's I thank you for that because yeah, yeah, I, I I took it as personal yeah because you can't but help you because it's, so dis- it's so disrespectful that you can't help it's it. so disrespectful but when you said that it clicked they don't they just don't effing know any better yeah so thank you. Done. Stabbing yeah. people. A 39 year old woman is hospitalized this morning, and a 45 year old her friend is now dead. He has been identified by police as Tyrone Quick. He is 45 years old and lived just right around the block. He was here visiting friends last not last night. The suspect, according to police, is Jose Ortiz, who lived right next door. The two share a common wall, and it was apparently noisy last night. So he went and asked them to keep it down. Uh, but apparently tempers flared and yeah and that that's another thing jose ortiz could have been extremely nice when he went over there that's 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 the other (laughs) thing about some people like you could come on your knees they could they could answer the door and be like and look down and there you are on your knees (laughs) sir please and they'll cut your attitude damn say he then stabbed those two people tragically one of them again losing their life. Police are still here on scene this morning, uh, collecting evidence. They're waiting for the crime scene unit and a warrant to get inside both the victim and suspect's apartment. Uh, Police tell us that Jose Ortiz is 65 years old. He has no prior criminal history. Mm. Now he is being charged. Yeah, because he didn't have to... (laughs) He never never knocked on the sun man's door who's playing fucking goddamn Gladys Knight at fucking four in the morning. Glad he's asked him to turn it down. I mean, they're kind of right? older people. These are kind of older people. They were, oh, they were okay, like, yeah. okay. Damn, that's crazy. Aki, remember my story I, I was... from from June oh, yeah, in Tuscaloosa, yeah, yeah. Alabama, yeah, with uh, yeah. the, the car pulling up there, blasting out stuff at 2 o'clock in the morning, checking in. I'm like, nope, don't go out there. Don't talk to them. <laughs> they'll, they'll get tired. They'll, they'll go to bed. Yeah, yeah, Eventually. Exactly. I got wonder if this was an on burrito or some burrito. Oh yeah, he may have been a sun burrito because New York. Yeah, he may have been a sun burrito. Truth murder. We're live here in the Higher Bridge section of the Bronx. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, Pix11 News. Happiness turning into terrifying moments inside this Detroit home early Friday morning. My baby said they was playing Uno. She said they was having good old family time. She heard a skirt outside the house. Then she heard glass. Five siblings, police say ranging in age from 7 to 16, home by themselves when police say gunshots rang out. It appears to be a drive-by shooting. So the 16-year-old was probably on Twitter saying some things. And listen, man. <laughs> some bad, Who really some thinks bad. they was just playing Uno? Yeah, I mean, they could have been playing Uno too. But, this, yeah, it, but here's the thing, though. The 16-year, the, the 7-year-old didn't have to know anything about it. The 12 Oh, listen, I'm on my phone right here, right now, right? Damn. Let's pretend we're all in the room, right? Let's just pretend we're all physically in the same room. And I'm sitting there tweeting, and I'm and I'm, I'm on my phone, and I'm on Facebook. Let's just say I'm on Facebook, and it's a nigga I don't like, you know, and he talking something, and I'm like, oh, bitch-ass nigga, fuck you. What, it's whatever. You're like, nigga, where you at? Where you at right now? What's your addy? Drop your addy. <laughs> i would be like, man, I ain't telling you where I'm at, you pussy ass, bitch ass, nigga, da, 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 da. fuck you, I see you when I see you. You like, nigga, you nigga, you lucky man, you bitch ass, you better not drop your addy. I go, I should go shoot up your motherfucking mother house, you bitch ass nigga. And I'll be like, man, nigga, what? Shoot up my mother house, nigga. What's what's up, nigga? I tell you where I'm at. I'm right here at some mail house right now, bitch ass nigga. What's up? And then <laughs> mail gets killed and some other body else gets killed. And it's that. Quick and it's that stupid and it's that non consequential. That's that, that, that senseless. That senseless. Yes. Here and you guys didn't know any of this was going on. 
Yes. Because I wasn't narrating. I'm just doing it on my phone. All it's right. that quick. They're so quick. Like, listen, it's a job fair tomorrow. You're guaranteed to get a job making eight hundred thousand dollars a, 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 a year. Most some men will sh show up late, if at all. Yo, you bitch ass nigga, you ain't about that life. Where you at? I'm at such and such place. I promise you, I may even try to be, be hyperbolic. Fifty percent of sun men that are in the street or in a wayward or some kind will show up to kill you. Fifty percent, half of them. Um, Oc, did you is I know you had said earlier. Um, Tank and Garcia are in the ring. It's round three of twelve. Um, pretty even to this point. Okay, okay, we'll see, we'll see. Good, thank you, man. No doubt. Seven to 16, home by themselves when police say gunshots rang out. It appears to be a drive-by shooting, uh, and we don't have a whole lot more right now. As bullets enter the home, the kids start running for safety. They dad had to go to work, and that's what he did. He went to work, and he got a call from his kids. The mother of one of the children says her 11-year-old daughter was hit by a bullet. My child was just grace. By the grace of God, she's still here, but she's going to go through some tragedy because she watched her sister. Her 16-year-old half-sibling, who she looked up to, was now motionless. She so you got one woman who has a child by that guy. And so these are women that have, this is a bunch of children that are, that are only related by the mothers. Uh, yeah, and they're her. all living with him. No, no, no. They're this is staying over. They're staying over. They definitely live with him. Come on. Says <laughs> okay. her eleven-year-old daughter was hit by a bullet. My child was just grace. By the grace of God, she's still here, but she's gonna go through some tragedy because she watched her sister. Her sixteen-year-old half sister. She said she's gonna go through some tragic. Oh. Who she looked up to was now motionless. She looked back and said, where's our sister? And when she looked, she seen our sister. And she was just telling her to get up. And her sister didn't get up. The 16-year-old now dead from the gunshots. And that was her sister. That was her best friend. And now police are searching for anyone who played a part in people. this crime. We have a suspect vehicle described as a white SUV. That's all we have at this time. Uh, we are combing the area. Uh, pulling video assets, talking to witnesses, and uh, talking to neighbors Think as well. Think about this. They're, they're combing the area looking for a white SUV in this murder. And by the time they get back to the office, <laughs> time they clear the scene, it would be another murder. Mm. It, it just, you can't solve these crimes, man. There's not enough. These guys are overworked, man. Like, I'm just give them an RV to live in and drive from place to place. <laughs> Mobile office. Salute to Deluxe 247, the real MVP, a.k.a. Cal Ripley, showing up once again, man. Appreciate you, bro. This is... Hey, you know, I grew, up, I grew up in Detroit. I, I did this story a while back of this grandma. She was raising two son kids of maybe about eight and ten or something like that in this house. And they were interviewing her outside, and I looked around. And I'm like, I know that house. That's three houses away from where I grew up. I recognize the street corner. And I used to, uh, I, I I knew the people who lived there. They had a couple little kids my brother's age, and I even had a like babysit them a couple times when I was like, when when their parents went out for the night. It was right in my neighborhood. Wow, wow. You Been in that house before. You grew up in Sunnyside, huh? Witnesses. Yeah, it got it got uh, kind of sunny as well. Police are also looking into this. But we're looking at, uh, at every angle, every aspect, including uh, perhaps some confrontations that may have happened at at her school uh, before uh, school let out for the holiday break. This mom says she can't speak for her child's sister, but she is confident her 11 year old was not in any trouble. No, nope, she been going to school. She been all right. This mom never thought a tragedy like this would hit home, but unfortunately, it's now their reality, and they need answers to help them move forward. Damn, just look at this squalor, man. Mm. It's great. Yeah, country. but you make you make a good point about the cops, right? You know, and think about it. I like, there's like no bottom. Like they could see one fucked up scene, 
then goes to the next and it's even more fucked up. Yeah. You got a 16 year old girl with a fucking probably uh AK bullet or, or AR fifteen bullet to the head. And it's just like well, what about her the other brain, her brains all over right. the place? And and then and then that's not even the worst thing you saw all day. But the and then the and other kid, the eleven year old, right? Shot. Yeah, she got grazed though. But still, though, I mean, an 11 year old kid getting crazy is bad. You and broke a sibling bond right now. We're going to relentlessly pursue these folks, get them off the street, lock them up. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly. That was racist. Two news. <laughs> Police in Florida are looking for this man, who they say conducted a chaotic clothing caper that turned violent. Surveillance video shows parts of what happened at the store in Lauderdale Lakes. According to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, a man browsed through the racks for about 30 minutes, gathering an armful of items and then tried to make a break for the exit without paying, only to realize the door was locked and he was trapped. Cops say that's when he dropped the clothes and focused on getting out of the store, trying to force the doors open or break the glass. Stunned employees watched the man's tirade and one of them tried to unlock the door for him. That's when the suspect realized he could unlock the door and did so. But cops say he didn't give up on his original plan. They say he pushed one of the employees to the ground as he grabbed the pile of clothes and left, jumping into a getaway car. Investigators say he made off with around two. What is wrong with these women? Those women are stupid. <laughs> yeah, they handled that about as dumb as you possibly could. <laughs> yeah, like, why are you so close to this? Why are you so close to this? Why are you so close? Like, why are you worried about picking up the fucking clothes off the floor? And, and then why, why did you show him or let him know him. that he could? Why don't you I think call the police out. and have them waiting for him outside the door? They're obviously planning. They didn't want to. They didn't want another son man, innocent son man, to go to jail after all these four hundred years of, of slavery and oppression. Yeah, this is this is this is bad. These women, this woman deserved to get her ass kicked. I, got I, the I think she's a in plan, Lauderdale right? Lakes. Yeah. According to the Broward County Sheriff's Office, a man browsed through the racks for about thirty minutes, gathering an armful of items, and He's then stealing tried to... from the seven dollar. This is the Tim Below store. Damn. I break for the exit without paying only to realize the door was locked and he was trapped uh. cops say that's when he dropped the clothes and focused on getting out of the store trying to force the doors open or break the glass stunned employees watched the man's tirade and one of them tried to unlock the door for him that's when the suspect realized he could unlock the door and did so but cops say he didn't give up on his original plan they say he pushed one of the. Man, she's all close. Yo, she's lucky she's not dead. Her face broken, you know? Right now, a protest against the new Sixers Arena proposed in Chinatown. Smash. The community growing concerns <laughs> yeah. about traffic, parking, security, and overall quality of life with the arena. Eddie Kadem mm. is live in Chinatown where the protest is wrapping up there. I don't blame them. Wrapped up a little while ago here. They were out here spending Christmas, spending. They don't want anything, anywhere where, you, where people play basketball. Anywhere right, is that basketball? <laughs> no. <laughs> right, they know, they know what time it is. Demon time. But, yeah, last time there was a basketball court anywhere there. It got real sketchy. One of the last days of Hanukkah protesting and letting people know that they don't want the arena. They want to stand in solidarity with the business owners here in Chinatown, with the people that live here who are saying uh, this is the no arena in Chinatown solidarity group. And they're marking tomorrow, December 25th as a public day of action. They came together to do speeches. They sang and showed a unified front against the construction of the arena. Now, at a meeting a few weeks ago, uh, I don't see any Chinese the people in there. said the proposed arena isn't technically in Chinatown. Right. It's in the Fashion District Mall between 10th and 11th and Market and Cuthbert, saying the arena would bring economic and safety benefits, but they still oh, understand the concerns. Now, the business owners I talked to today Jews saying they're concerned with that the years of... Do you see that, son? <laughs> Jews stand with Chinatown, man. There you go, um, fishermen. Fisherman. They don't want this. They don't want anything that's going to bring... Sons, their way, man. They not with no, the, no. The sun man belongs in the glider neighborhood. That's the only place he's allowed to <laughs> fuck everything up. Yeah, man. Oh, the the, the, the poor glider. 
Yeah. They, they gotta get their iPhones, man. Fight update. Fight update. Uh, over. Round five through twelve. Even at this point. Oh wow. I hope they bring somebody to go somewhere else. Don't destroy the culture. That's it. Okay. It's here. People live near a safe and love this town. Uh, China been 150 year history. Not other time about like Philadelphia of Chinatown. Uh, the Sixers lease at Wells Fargo Center ends in 2031. Jennifer, back to you. Thank you. Damn, 2031. Let's get right to Fox News. Randy Wimley, he joins us live with a look at their mission. And Randy, what's this all about? Hey guys, live here at Seven Mile in Asbury Park in Northwest Detroit at the People Store. And as you can see behind me, New Era Detroit, they're here to help keep an eye on customers. They'll be hitting a number of other party stores throughout the city. This is uh, sort of in response in light of the murder of Tracy Golden at another party store. And guys, a few moments ago, I talked with the woman who was coming into the store and said that she felt safe because they are here. <laughs> wow. Salute to these brothers, man. I can, it, the only problem is we know as soon as they have to jack up some fucking, fucking shitty ass fucking sun team, or have to, you know what I mean, like get physical with some goddamn black criminal fucking baby daddy, the sisters are going to fucking revolt on them. Well, and, and if yeah, I was driving by ahead. this place, I wouldn't stop there right now. I mean, I, I don't would, know what the fuck they're doing there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but these aren't the ones. These are the old. This Detroit, man. You used to see some people. They still don't look like anybody I'd want to associate with. Yeah, because you're not a son. Like if you like, it's like it's kind of like uh, I'm trying to tell you. Like when I'm in DC, it's seeing a son. It's it doesn't even raise a flag or nothing to see a son. Like, Fox, see a group this, of this is every West Coast rap group <laughs> video reunion right here. <laughs> 30 years later. Yo, I talked with the woman who was coming into the store and said that she felt safe because they are here. See that video of that sister walk out the store unprotected. Nobody was around. Nobody to make sure that she was okay. You know, that did strike a nerve. Cal Zeke Williams of New Era Detroit amongst one of a growing number of Detroiters saying never again. The brutal murder of Tracy Golden is That's making... That's the one who she just was yeah. walking out the store. The sun man came up and popped her noggin. Like, he, he didn't ask for the shit. He shot her and then took the shit. Right. Was that the one where they, where they bit her eyeball? No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, that was a different one. <laughs> yeah. This is the one that came across directly walking towards her from the parking lot. Yes. In the back of the store. Yeah. Is that is that the one that stole the SUV? Yeah. yeah. No, no, that was another one. A cheap, <laughs> a cheap, a cheap SUV. Yeah, it was like a journey, a dog journey. He still, he killed. Like he he literally executed her on sight and then took her dog journey. Many rethink security at neighborhood party stores and business owners' obligations to their customers. With the situation that happened, you know, it was an eye opener, you know, as a business owner, and it made me want to step up and to make sure that the people in my community are secure. You know, what no the matter fuck what. Is a Travis Brewer man. owns the People Store on the city's west side and was one of the first to answer New Era's oh, call. The black be man owns a store. Right, it's pretty cool. What? Yeah, but these these clowns will sit up here and say every effing thing and put the blame on every effing thing well, instead of well, hold the up, root cause. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We can't get we can't just breeze past the part that a brother owns yeah. the story. Yeah, fuck cool. that. He's still passing blame instead of yeah. we need a crime bill to hold these fucking n words really accountable. This, I, you, we never see this. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I, I think this might be an automation first, man. This is this is Black Bezos. I hear you. Yeah. I hear you, Wicked. But do you see what I'm saying, though? No, no, I, I got you. I just, I just don't want to breeze past the yeah, part. Yeah, sure, is, sure. This is, respect. This is this is no, here, respect, yeah. respect. But this is, I mean, this is history right here, man. <laughs> Like, like, literally, like, I, I promise you, man, like, you never see this. Like, not but the, but, this type of store. Maybe, like, 
uh, like a, a boutique clothing store, some stupid shit like that, but a store that services the community and sells everything that people need all the time. Like, so is this, this is this racist though? Because it's racist mm -hmm. if a Chinese guy sells booze to black people. Well, no, this is this is this is this is this is heartwarming. I actually like. This. I think this should be pretty. More I, think, I think it's interesting for yeah, sure. It, yeah. it, because it you need you need if you. I think male. You have to go to a black community, and 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 just just live there. And you know, go to the stores and just you know, Hell no. frequent. You be none of they don't own anything. Oh, I know. Nothing. It's all Chinese and Middle Eastern or own Asian right. and Middle Eastern. Right. Yeah, right. basically. Been that like, way I forever. Mean, nothing. Not forever. Store on the city's Damn. west side and was one of the first to answer New Era's call to beef up security for customers, especially senior citizens and women. Zeke says he's calling on a number of black owned liquor and party stores to step up and do their part. Our communities are responsibility. So we got to first set the bar and set the standard in our community. And then we expect those who do business in our community who don't look like us or who don't live in our community to follow suit. Um, this is about us holding ourselves accountable first. Violence at party stores has been a long standing issue in Detroit. A week before Tracy Golden was murdered, Detroit police say these men assaulted someone inside the Mr. C's liquor store on East Warren and Bishop. Nathaniel Stewart, owner of Inner City Liquor, says that won't happen on his watch. Am I security? What are we going to do most? Hmm. You go Black Wall Street, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> it is what is What is What the F does he have on? on? I told y'all Black Wall Street wasn't nothing but a goddamn bunch of stores. Man. Li liquor stores? It literally repair. is called Black Wall Street liquor, goddamn. Shoe repair. He had a shoe repair shop. He had a fucking grocery. He had a um, uh, notary republic. That was probably the most like close to the Wall Street thing they had on Black Wall Street, mm. the notary republic. <laughs> hey, but I, around here, around here, when shit These like people this happens, are so retarded. when shit like this happens around here, they try to shut down the Arabs. So I yeah. think this brother needs to go. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. His watch. And my security, what we going to do most of, we going to um, walk. walk. <laughs> my security, That's... what we going to do most of. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look at him. him this gonna black, gonna don't don't shit on this, man. This black Bezos right here. Fuck yeah, off. Yeah, we um, going to handle it. We gonna you take know, care. Man, like, like, you know what I'm saying? And he's repping his hood around his neck, man. Give him a break. Just look at him. Hey, yo, I like the coat. I, I can rock it. Fuck it, yeah. why not? At listen, the man. Listen, yeah, he's, he's doing it. On his watch. And my security, what we going to do most of, we going to um, walk walk elderly to the car. You feel what I'm saying? We uh heavy heavier bag, heavier items, cases of water. We can help them. And um just, just to secure the premises. New Era says they'll spend the weekend patrolling neighborhood party stores and keeping watch over those going in and out of them. Safety in our community have to be priority. It's top priority. Um, we've been putting a Band-Aid on the situation for far too long, um, been looking for one single source to handle the situation for far too long. Um, it's just about accountability and everybody stepping up to do what they can do. Straight back in of Mount Nassau Park at the uh, People's Store in New Era, Detroit, still posted up out here. They'll be hitting uh, a number of other party stores throughout the city today and this weekend. In the meantime, police are still searching for Tracy. That Marshawn Lynch right there. <laughs> <laughs> Golden's killer. If you have any information about what happened over at Grand River in Outer Drive, please call Detroit Police. Reporting live in Northwest Detroit, I'm Randy Wendell. They still Fox ain't Studio. caught that motherfucker who killed that woman. Dang. Yeah, you know, Randy, uh, hey, you think hey, about I, what's already been done in Detroit. So many I, what, jokes aside, what I want to know is why in the fuck do they have bulletproof glass for it? That's fucking racist, though. Yeah. Why? Man, what's up with the bulletproof that. glass, huh? Yeah, we covered that, man. Yeah. But they, they have I'll it. I'll tell those. you what, they need to look for it. that guy in Atlanta. I just think everybody it's a seems to flee to Atlanta whenever they're fleeing from the yeah. police. The reason, the reason that when Ox says there's no solutions, just look at that. I mean, you have a quote unquote so called business owner dressing like as if he's in a, a drill pimp. rap video, yeah, a drill rap video or a pimp, and they cannot 
in their warped mind can't comprehend okay this is not what a business person looks like yeah it's not it's it's not but they're also where they're at they're not required to uh, you know to 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 to, to look like the, a businessman sure that's they're not they're, they're, they're not project green light cameras that's the city's effort here we have community members and people who own these stores saying we that's have right. to step up too and that's exactly right. And that's something that uh, Zeke had mentioned earlier and said, listen, it's going to take buy in from the entire community. And we can't solely rely on one source, say, police, for example, to take care of this problem for us. This is our community, our problem, our responsibility.